My all-time favourite Burnley player is John Pender. He was a big six-foot-odd defender. Um, he's got the record for scoring the most own goals for Burnley, but a lot of defenders did score own goals, so what? He's certainly not a guy you'd like to meet on a dark alley at night. And my wife, who obviously knows how much I liked John Pender, even arranged for a birthday card from him for me 40th birthday. So I've got that tucked away somewhere upstairs, signed by John. Another one of my favourite players was another one of the Judases, which is Steve Davis. He'll always still be one of my favourite players, but I don't ever want to see him back in the club wearing claret and blue ever again, because I think what he's done is disgraceful. Um, for a man who we've stood by all the way along, to suddenly up sticks and go with him. He didn't have anything to do with Owen Coyle beforehand, so why go and join him now? And I must say, I watched the Arsenal game on TV and he looked totally out of place. He looked as if he didn't want to be there. But he's made his bed, he'll have to lie in it now. Um, other favourite players, obviously, I like Chris Eagles. Uh, the modern day players, I think he's, he's a sensational winger. He's got pace in abundance. Um, I like Andre Bikey, who... Bikey Beaky, uh, who we just who we signed from Reading at the end of last season, um, who unfortunately is away on duty with the African Cup of Nations. Get beat. Um, they're probably the main players I've liked over the years. But there was one who wasn't with us for long, and I'll always remember the day he made his debut for us, which was a pre-season friendly against Everton. Um, we were sat in the executive suite. We'd been to a pie and pea supper and, fought and watched the match. And they announced that the, a trialist was coming on the pitch by the name of Arthur Gonorrhea, was how it was actually announced. And the, of course, we now know that it was Arthur Nohiri, a French defender. And I kind of took to him straight away. Um, one of the few people whose names I've had on the back of my shirt, because I don't really go for names, that shirt is now upstairs signed in my wardrobe, signed by Arthur. And the, I did like him, but my, my love of him got bigger the day he did a fantastic goal at Deepdale, where he did a one-two with somebody for a defender. It was brilliant. He put the ball forward, did a one-two, and just smacked the ball in the net at unbelievable pace that none of us was expecting. Of course, it was right at the end where we all were. An absolutely fantastic goal. and. It's sad to see that nowadays he's, he suffers very badly with his health, which is a shame. Has been back to the ground a few times. Nice to see him when you see him outside the ground. Always will still say hello to you, but he's probably one of my standout guys as well over the years. Robbie, Robbie Blake, um, last season, um, when he scored a goal, he dropped his shorts down to bear a pair of red and white underpants with Bad Beat Bob on. Uh, Bad Beat Bob is a phrase in poker. Uh, which uh, Robbie enjoys having a game of poker and he'd had these underpants made with Bad Beat Bob on and uh, it became a thing for him to drop his pants down every time he scored but the fans caught on to this obviously and uh, Bad Beat Bob underpants were available in uh, the Burnley shop um, my son, my eldest son has actually got a pair of Bad Beat Bob underpants which he wore around Benny Dome outside his pants um, when the Burnley game that, he, that was on at that time was on in Benidorm, so he was watching the live on TV. So yeah, there were red with white strap with uh, white fronts with white trim with the words "Bad Beat Bob" across the uh, across the backside.